Horses are beautiful creatures and they can be powerful symbols when it comes to dreams. So let's talk about the meaning of horses in dreams. I've only ridden a horse once in my entire life, and that was quite an experience. But whether you're riding a horse in a dream or seeing a horse, horses can have an important meaning. So I'm going to talk about what a horse can mean in your dream. Number one, a horse in a dream can represent spiritual strength or something powerful. So you can have a dream where you're riding a horse to a specific destination and you're feeling a sense of joy and peace while you're riding. This could be showing that you're moving forward or increasing in spiritual strength. It could also mean that God desires for you to become spiritually stronger. Perhaps at the time of the dream, something is causing you to feel hopeless or powerless And God is encouraging you with this type of dream. So a horse in a dream can represent spiritual strength. Number two, a horse can represent authority. Someone once had a dream that they were riding on a horse and people were following behind them as they rode on the horse. So God was revealing the dreamer's call to a leadership position in ministry. A horse can also represent having or being given authority in your workplace as well. So a horse in a dream can represent a level of authority. Number three, a horse in a dream can be symbolic of someone being carried towards their destiny. So you can have a dream where you're either riding on a horse or you're riding in a horse drawn carriage and you're headed in a certain direction. This could mean that you're being divinely taken to your destiny. Number four, a horse in a dream can be a metaphor for spiritual warfare. In Revelation, the 19th chapter and the 17th verse, it describes unusual looking horses that were prepared for battle. So depending on what the horse is doing in your dream, It can be symbolizing that you're in or you're approaching a season of spiritual warfare. Number five, a charging horse. So if you dream that a horse is charging towards you, they're coming toward you at full speed, this would represent being attacked by the enemy or by someone in a place of authority. And so if you have this type of dream, of course, You should pray against it. So a charging horse in a dream can represent a spiritual, physical, or even emotional attack. Number six, a specific color of horse. If the horse in your dream has a specific color, the meaning of the dream would be based on the color of the horse and what the horse is doing. For instance, if you dream you're riding on a white horse, that would be symbolic of faithfulness and righteousness. And we have an example in Revelation 19 where Jesus, when he returns, is going to be riding on a white horse and he is called faithful and true. A green horse in a dream could represent spiritual growth or spiritual or financial prosperity. If you're riding on a blue horse, it could be pointing to prophetic anointing Or God is going to reveal something. So it could be speaking of revelation that's coming to the rider of the horse. A black horse could be symbolic of sin, death, or even spiritual blindness. So always keep in mind that the color of the horse is important to the dream's meaning. But this is only if the color of the horse is vivid. Number seven, a dead horse. If you see a dead horse in your dream, this could represent a couple of things. It could be showing that something has died in your life, such as your hopes or your dreams. It could also represent a loss of spiritual or emotional strength. Also, seeing a dead horse 
can be a play on words as in the old saying, beating a dead horse which means that you may be doing a particular action, but you're not really getting anywhere from your efforts and you're not making any progress from the things you do. So always remember that some metaphors and dreams can be a play on words. Number eight, falling off a horse. If you dream that you fell off a horse, this could represent a loss of authority, it could represent a loss of spiritual authority in the area of ministry or a loss of authority in the workplace. It can also represent a spiritual fall that the dreamer has regressed spiritually or even backslidden. Number nine, a horse in a stable. So if you have a dream where you're looking at a horse in a stable, this could represent that you feel limited in some way. It could be limited in power and authority or limited in finances, or you may feel as if someone or something is holding you back. In the positive sense, a horse in a stable in a dream can also represent something powerful that is about to be released. Number 10, wild horses. So a dream of wild horses or where horses have gone wild can be symbolic of a group that the dreamer is associated with who has no self-control and no self-discipline. It could be speaking of spiritual or emotional immaturity and instability, and God is revealing this to the dreamer. So wild horses can represent a group or a person that has no self-discipline or self-control. Also, if you see a foal or a baby horse in your dream, that too can represent spiritual or natural immaturity. Hey, have you picked up your copy of The Mysterious Language of Dreams yet? In this book, I go more in depth about dreams and dream interpretation than I do on my YouTube videos. I talk about the depth dimension of dreams, dream layers. I talk about the time dimension of a dream. Also, dreams and the imagination, which is quite interesting. I also have put over 40 real life, actual dreams that people have dreamt in the book for you to practice your interpretation skills. Also in the back of the book is a dream dictionary with over 400 dream symbols. So I've left a link in the description box below where you can go and pick up your copy of the mysterious language of dreams today. Have any horses appeared in your dreams lately? If so, I want to hear about it. Leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I'll talk to you all next time.